another discrete math tutorial. This time I thought I'd cover nested propositional expressions and precedence of logical operators. Sounds like a mouthful, I know, but it's actually an extremely simple concept. So the way you would read a nested propositional expression is by first taking a note of the precedence of the logical operators. So in order, the precedence of logical operators would be not or the negation symbol, followed by the and symbol, followed by the or symbol, followed by the implication symbol, and then finally the if and only if symbol. So if I gave you the following example, f and g or s, this would be pretty ambiguous. Uh, you would have to technically just follow the, the precedence of logical operators. So you would say f and g would come first, followed by the or s. If I gave you f and g, and I grouped it into a parentheses or S. This is a more clear statement. F and G is within a parentheses. So this expression would have valued first, followed by this one. So let's say F is, I just saw my old friend. G is, he's grown. And S is, I've shrunk. F and G in this parentheses would mean, I just saw my old friend and he's grown or I've shrunk. If we flipped it, this would have a completely different meaning. I would say, I just saw my old friend and either he's grown or I've shrunk. This sentence seems to make more sense uh, than this one, but again, just looking at the parentheses, you can see how the precedence and making your expressions very clear when you're writing them is important. Let's look at the negation symbol now. If we did something like not S and F, the negation symbol belongs exclusively to S. So it would be basically like writing not S and F, where this evaluates first. This is not the same as not S and F, because this expression would evaluate to not S or not F. So as you can see, this is not correct. So as you guys can see, this is not a difficult concept. You just have to keep in mind the precedence of the logical operators when you're doing these nested propositional expressions. So I hope you learned something again in this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for your daily discrete math tutorials.